sure. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. I always feel like I'm forgetting something. Uh, testing one, two, three, guys. Uh, yo, what's up? Welcome to Venkabot uh, Pizza and Movie Action. My name is David. Tonight, I'm finally joined on the mic by my friend, Katie. What's up, Katie? How's it going, dude? What's going on, guys? Oh, my God, guys. So tonight, we're doing uh, a different kind of triple feature tonight. We're doing the... Uh, pizza in a movie, uh, the dramatic 1930s triple feature. We're watching three films tonight, all from the 30s. One from 31, one from 32, one from 34. Uh, the first one here is called Kept Husbands. And uh, the second one is uh, Farewell to Arms by Ernest Hemingway. It's an adaptation of the novel. And the final one of the night is Of Human Bondage, also a novel adaptation. I'm not sure uh, who was the author of that one. But uh, I was telling Katie last night and one of the guys in the chat before the stream started here that these films all look fucking sick. They're all going to be hella dramatic. I guess they're all romances as well. This first one has a little bit of comedy from what I understand. But before we even get started showing off my pizza and stuff, I want to talk about this poster here. So this movie, uh, Kept Husbands, it came out with two major taglines on release in 31 for all their posters. The first one here is, What am I? Husband or gigolo? And it's like, oh my god. And the second one is, uh, Kept Husband, a man bought body and soul by his wife. Like, <laughs> what? Like, what are these going to be about? What's up, Mac? Mac, because I thought it was Thursday and expected Batman. I'm sorry, here goes. But you're going to be uh, pretty satisfied, I think, with Pizza in a Movie tonight. It's going to be super, super sick. Think way of saying OT, huh? Yeah, uh, Cottage Inn. This is the precursor of Deuce Bigelow, huh? Yeah, I have no idea what it's about. I think it's the only one of the night that has a little bit of comedy in it, but even then I was born and it's got quite a lot of drama as well as uh, some comedic elements. I guess they're minor comedic elements, but really great posters. I love putting these on social media. You guys follow me at Venkabot if you guys want to on Twitter. Before me and Katie get started here, I'm going to show off uh, what I bought today for our oh, pizza. Oh, we'll see that pizza. This is the uh, amazing uh, cheese bread, just smothered in uh, melty, melty cheese and Parmesan. I'm pumped about oh, that. Oh, my God. Yeah, you can't go wrong with cheese bread. And, of course, uh, my favorite from Cottage Inn, which is uh, the Cuban pizza. This is uh, fried pickles with pulled pork and uh, uh, sweet Carolina golden baby ray sauce, which is uh, wow. amazing. It's super, super sick. Yeah, you're right, Steve. That cheese bread is fucking thick, dude. All right, so here we go. So I think that uh, there was a time, KD, where the 1930s were as far back as we'd ever gone on the channel, uh, historically speaking. But since then, mm -hmm. we've gone back to the 20s. You remember our uh, silent movie night where we watched uh, some really, really cool silent films. Uh, those went back to the 20s. So these ones are actually relatively recent uh, these days. And again, they're all very high quality. Most of these were, uh, were uh, restored tonight by Kino Lorber. If you guys love classic films, guys, check out Kino Lorber on uh, Amazon or at your, uh, your uh, Blu-ray retailer. This is a guy that I want to give a special shout-out to here. Uh, he runs a... Uh, a sort of a production company called Kino Classics, where he restores old public domain films. And I've said on previous streams that what's interesting about this and why it's noteworthy, of course, it's, it's uh, you know, he's making money off this, so you, you don't want to, you know, uh, 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 make him a saint or anything. But what's interesting is that these films, no one owns them. And so it's very hard to make uh, a lot of money off of them because anytime that you... Uh, release a Blu-ray of a, of a public domain film, you're going to have a lot of competition of other people releasing that same sort of Blu-ray. And also, even if you do restore it, uh, people like Venkabot are going to totally undermine all your hard work by streaming it you know, on YouTube or whatever. <laughs> so it's a real drag. So shout out to Kino Lorber. It's a lot of work. It's uh, got to be pretty thankless, you would think. A lot of the films we've watched on this channel have been through his Kino Classics line. If you guys are interested in picking up some of these Blu-rays for your grandparents or whatever, check out Kino Lorber, Kino Classics. I'm not sure if the first one is or not, but I think maybe even all three might uh, be Kino Classics tonight. Anyway, you ready, Katie? Yeah, man, I'm ready, dude. Let's fucking get in there, dude. We're going to do a countdown. We're going to do it on zero. Sure thing. Here we go. Three, two, one, zero. This is Kept Husbands. Yeah, Kino Classics here. Let me go black and white. Kino. I like to go black and white for these. It makes me feel like I'm more in the zone here. I love the classic art. Oh, I got to get rid of this, uh, this poster for you guys, huh? Let's do that, too. You guys can't even see the amazing RKO intro here. A radio, radio picture. picture. So cool. You're right, Nero. It's very important. I, mean, I have huge respect for this Kino Lorber character. I don't know him personally, but through Pete's in a movie, I've come to see a lot of his stuff. Radio Pictures presents Kept Husbands. Dorothy McHale and Joel McCrea. Huh? Lloyd Bacon. Katie, if I'm ever named Lloyd Bacon, you just kill me. Dude, that name is godlike. But here's the thing, though. Can you imagine if you owned a pizza place and it was Lloyd Bacon? <laughs> that would be sick. I'd go there. Max Ree? Or is that Ray? Max Ree? Yeah, it's got like a Ray E, maybe? He has an uh, uh, accent over the first E, not the second one. That's weird. The 
players. Oh no. I love these pre-movie credits. There's never any post-movie credits in this day in these days. You just get out a few of the big names and then you're just in the movie. Yeah, the RKO logo, dude. Super sick intro, right, uh, Nero? I love it. How cool would be to start your stream every day? I've with never that? seen anything like it. Talk about your heroism. He went down in that blazing pit not once, mind you, but three times and carried them all out, one after another. Not really. Why, he doesn't know what fear is. Probably too dumb to know what it is. Burn. Well, where there's no sense, there's no feeling. There's nothing dumb about him. I wish I had more men like him. I hope you rewarded him, Arthur. Say, you wouldn't believe this. I presented him with a check for $1,000, and he wouldn't take it. What? Must be interesting to meet a man like that. <laughs> You're going to. I've asked him over. Here? Yes, tonight. For heaven's sake. But we're going to the opera right after dinner. That's all right. He's only coming for dinner. A workman? For dinner? Yes. Why not? Arthur, what ghastly joke is this? But Henrietta... He's a hero. In overall. Well, what will our guests say? Oh, my God. Call him up the class system. tell him he's not to come over. He isn't a common workman. He's a steel boss. You see, Mother? It's perfectly all right. He's a steel boss. Directly tying status to importance. I don't care what his Here name is. Brunton. Brunton. That name sounds familiar. He's a fine chap. I've had my eye on him for a long while. Don't talk to me. Overalls. <laughs> well, it'll be a thrill having a working man for dinner. Yeah? Well, you've had one for a good many years. Me. Oh, my God! Well, that's no. all I was when I started. But this invitation, it's downright cruelty. Dinner with all our flunkies around might prove very embarrassing to Slim Jim the Railbender. Gosh, I never thought of Get that. Get the pizza, Nero. If he's kind of a baby. Fun watching him scoop mashed potatoes on his knife. Oh, it won't be as bad as that. I know those strong, silent men. Well, I'll put the radio on while he's inhaling his soup. <laughs> oh my god. Or is he just... He's gonna eat with his hands, just straight going di deep in with his hands. Yo, dude. Look at this fucking place, Katie. If you lived here, man, you'd hate poor people too. Longview, <laughs> 5855. Now, what are you going look to do? Look at this place, guys. Bring the big news to Charlie Bates. Well, I guess I'll go up and change for dinner. Yes, we're having a pour for and dinner. And laid out a nice new pair of overalls yep. for you. <laughs> oh, hello, oh, Charlie. Man. Listen, you're gonna have the laugh of your life tonight. Father's invited a big he-man from the mill for dinner. <laughs> oh, he's Got entertainment on. now, bro. Bring my dinner plate. Now don't forget. Come watch the normie. Time, will you, Charlie? You bet, Dad. As soon as the whistle blows, I'll throw down my tools and rush right over. All right, Charlie. Goodbye. Oh, that laugh. <laughs> yeah, you're right, Freeman. Where's the term he-man come from? How old is that term? Well, I think they're singing Il Trovatore. Il Trovatore. Good. Oh, he's I'm struggling with his fork. I hear enough anvil. <laughs> Let him live, Katie. Out at the foundry. <laughs> At least he's using the right fork, though. Doc, I know you'll enjoy the opera tonight. Why, she's not going past the olives. She's fixated, bro. <laughs> Yo, it's Caesar, right, for sure. He looks like a chummy player, bro. Passing the olives. Don't do it. You'll be, do you'll be poor. Think they can cure it? Cure what? Your hearing. I've asked you 18 times to pass the olives. Pardon me. Dude, I would be so I fucked if I was at a dinner like this. Excuse me. It's gotta be an exaggeration, right, Caesar? <laughs> if some chicken owned me 18 times, bro, I'd be so pissed off. I would stop being civil. Say, Don. Get a load of that. Dick Marrow looking for a toothpick. <laughs> Let him live, bro. What an odd <coughs> charm. May I see it, please? Oh, it's nothing, really. Oh, please. Dude, look with your eyes, not your hands, girl. Thank you. She didn't get raised right, bro. He's hating Caesar. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> a grievous social error has been made here tonight. Dorothy? A guest has been brought here under false pretenses. Don't. Let me introduce to you the real Dick Brunton. All-American halfback, the man who beat Yale. Why, <laughs> Brunton, say, I had no idea. Halfback? What? I thought you said he was a steel boss. Boy, I'll never forget that forward pass as long as I live. Oh, he's a football player, well, dude. Something or other. You certainly will. Well, I'm glad that's up. You've had me guessing all night. Oh, Serve well, coffee yeah. in the drawing room. <laughs> you know, hey, Brunton, this is a surprise. surprise. Oh, hmm. he's not a regular poor person. He's a football player. Yeah, I'm about to say. But I gotta learn his backstory, though, Katie. Why's he working as a steel boss? He's gotta have some kind of tragic story behind it, I guess, huh? 
Well, Brunton, have you changed your mind about that check? No, sir. Thanks just the same. Have you talked it over with your mother? Yes, sir, and she agrees with me. You see, Mr. Parker, I didn't do that for money. I did it because, well, anybody do it. You understand, don't you? Yes, I think Bobby I Bobby acting is so strong. A thousand dollars is a lot of money, Mr. Button. <laughs> yes, but... Oh, don't be silly. Go ahead and take it. Why? Do you want me to? Would you? <coughs> if I wanted you to? No. Uh-uh. Oh, my God. Off down, <laughs> you have to go. <laughs> Stay thirsty. Well, it's at like, the nope. very least, I'll see that you get the Carnegie Medal. Oh, no, please don't do anything like that. How does it feel to be a hero? <laughs> You'll never know. Dorothea. Got him. Now, please leave Mr. Button alone. I want to talk to him. <laughs> Why didn't you tell us you were Dick Brunton, the all-American halfback? Why should I? Right now, I'm simply your father's steel boss. But I can't understand why you kept it dark. The All-American, I mean. Make things easier for you. I know. But easy things aren't much good. But aside Dude, from that, it will get you in with the right crowd. <laughs> oh, dude, Katie. You can't run around with the right crowd on 45 head, a week. Mr. and Mrs. Post. Yeah, but through Vince, he's throwing them right back. Hello. 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 Say good evening, everybody, Pansy, darling. Are you ready to go, Henrietta? Yes, dear. Good evening, Llewellyn. Good evening. Uh, will you walk upstairs while we get our wraps? Yes, surely. <laughs> We're going to the opera. Llewellyn, will you have... Uh, oh, what? Uh, you'd better go and sit in the car. Yes, dear. And bundle Pansy up good. Because I don't want my little bitsy baby to catch cold. Yes, dear. What's up, baby bean? Welcome aboard. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, Pizza in a Movie, public domain films from 1931 in this case. This is hell old. 90 years old. Yes, dear. Yes, dear. Yes, dear. What a spectacle. Well, he's no more than a kept husband. It's a tragedy. Llewellyn Post should have been the greatest architect in America. But he married Lucille. She wouldn't let him work. She killed all his ambition. It's her fault. None of your here. fucking business, man. Back well, off. You don't have to go yet. Dad and I aren't going out. I know, but it's late for me. I have to get home and go to bed. You see, I have to be at the plant at six. Six, eh? I never go to bed until six. I'll have Hopkins take you home in the car. Dude, that was yeah, fucking me back in 1931, bro. Yeah, well, all Up yep. all night working on 1931 YouTube videos. Good night, Mrs. Parker. I've had a wonderful time. Well, let's get to Have a good time. We will. Bye, bitch. You've been mighty kind, Miss Parker. I'll remember this evening for a long time. So will I. I hope you'll forgive me for exposing your uh, past. <laughs> That's all right. I wish you'd think it over. <laughs> you know, about you. getting in with the right crowd. Honestly, I can't afford to. Well, that wouldn't make any difference. And anyhow, I spend my spare time studying. See, I want to get somewhere. It's more to life than just gold footballs. Really? And there's more to life than grinding away at books every night. Oh, I don't like to. I'm human. You don't mean it. <laughs> I wouldn't have suspected that. Ugh. I enjoy a good time as much as anyone. But I'm working now, Dude, so they I they are totally eye-fucking each other. I can't enjoy it. Well, maybe you're right. Well, Brunton, if you're ready, we'll... <laughs> yes, sir. Good night, Miss Parker. And Good thank night. You. Invite him out to the opera, dude, the grand old thank opera. Thank you, too. You've been very kind. Not at all. That boy's He's got to be up at 6 in the morning, Venka. He's got work to do. He's got work to do, dude. Well, That's a steel night, mill. Mr. Parker. Good night, my boy. Uh-oh. She's contemplating. Yeah, she's scheming. They always be scheming, guys. Just well, have your baby bean. Well, did you notice how he balanced those peas? You're right, Pinnies. Check oh, out that Oh, don't ass. rub it in. How about your thousand dollar check? Ah, that boy has something. He's one man in a thousand. Thousand? He's one in a million. And as far as your daughter's concerned, he's the one man in the world. What do you mean? I mean, I'm going to marry him. What? Are you Damn. crazy? You just bet I am. Look here, Dot. You're not serious. Dad, I was never more serious in my life. He's a hero, but he's a whore. I saw him. I didn't give two hoops if he goggled his soup in the key of A minor. All I knew was that boy was made for me. And what's more, I'm going to have him. Oh, oh okay, wow. Dot. Aren't you just a little bit hasty? I can't get him too quick to suit me. See here, Dot. Now listen, don't you fool yourself. Now, I'm a pretty good judge of men. I tell you, this boy has real character, and he'll never propose to you. Oh, my God! Oh. That's her dad, Katie! There isn't a man in this world a woman can't win, if she really wants to land him. I don't believe that. Guys, that's All her right. dad. All I ask is four weeks. Caesar. Four weeks. Oh, my God, the savagery. When do you think your wayward son will stagger in? Can't tell you. Well, it's getting late. Oh, rich folks like the Parkers have supper till all hours. Yeah. 
What's caviar to the few is applesauce to the gander. You should have told him to take a thousand bucks. <laughs> oh no, Huey. Why should I? Why, I wouldn't want Dick to take anything he didn't earn. A penny saves a dollar earned. How old do you think she actually is? She's probably like 45 in this yeah. film. He's up on my board bill. <laughs> I'm in no hurry for the money, Huey. Well, that's just as well, because I ain't got any. <laughs> they place in bets, Brian. Got Remy. Fucking <laughs> Gigaster does. He's early shit. <laughs> Dude, this man looking like you right now, hey, would dude. You mind honking the horn a couple of times? Sure. That's <laughs> 31 horn. Uh, that's so funny to me. So, Baby Bane's familiar with uh, both Caesar and uh, well, mother, Nero. I told you we'd be riding around the Rolls Royce one day. The Q <laughs> origin story. I certainly did. <laughs> Rudy a solid Hugo origin story, right, Caesar? <laughs> hey, high pockets, did you bring home the bacon? No, I told him he could keep his check. I figured that all in. Did you give Mrs. Parker my love? Sure. What'd she say? I'll take vanilla. I don't get it. It must be a 30s well, joke. now that that's all settled, maybe you better hit the hay. I claim early to rise and early to bed and you live all your life. Until you're dead. <laughs> and tell me, Dick, what kind of people are they? Bars. Oh, you'd get a great kick out of the mother. They're rich the assholes. Good scout. Don't do that, mother. You're going to ruin your teeth. Oh, they were ruined long ago. How about Mrs. Parker? Oh, she's got one of those trick English accents. The only trouble is it slips out of gear all the time, and she gets all balled up between her vases and her vases. Oh, well, that's oh no my God. Is she nice? She almost froze me when I first came in. Looked at me as though she expected I'd be wearing overalls. Oh, you only imagined that. How about the daughter? Not for mine. Just plain spoiled. Wow! Maybe that isn't her fault. Too much money isn't good for anybody. Still, some of them make very good wives. Well, I can never imagine her as a wife. <laughs> Damn! Imagine Dude. Doc Parker bending over a wash tub. Well, maybe she wouldn't be afraid to bend over one. Katie, this is too savvy. Oh, don't be silly. She's not defending she's herself. She's about right? as useful as, as a little silky kitten. Call the fight. That's what they should have called her. Kitten. Damn. Kitten. Oh. <laughs> uh, Mom like, oh, my son, trashing rich people. She raised him right, dude. It was Caesar, dude. Four weeks, dude. That's how long the bet was. This is too hot for Twitch. They're savage panders. Hello, Mr. Barber. Hello, Dick. Look over these. What are they? The Mississippi Bridge Plans. Something that will revolutionize the industry. That is, uh, if we can sell the idea. You don't seem very confident. I know it's the greatest engineering achievement in years. It's called a Game Boy. Parker's willing to bet his role on it. But it'll take a real salesman to make others see it as we do. Well, let's get started. All right. Can uh, you get them finished by one o'clock? Yes, sir. Fine. We're awfully busy. I know I can depend on you. Dude, did that pencil have no eraser? This man makes no mistakes. Dude, it's fucking savage. It's fucking 1931. Couldn't have put eraser back then. He's fucking perfect, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that face! <laughs> I think I knew a fucking command, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. Disgust. Yeah. I'd be sick, Caesar. Hey. I'd be sick. How long have you been working here? Oh my god! Oh! Oh my god! She now came to collect, dude. Again, wouldn't be more regular if she punched the clock. Ain't that old man Parker's daughter? Sure. What's she here for? Well, if you don't know, you're the only one that don't. She's here to grab Dick Brunton. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Pretty soft for Brunton. That girl's independently rich. She's got nothing on him. He's independently poor. Gee. I wish some doll would all hurt, though. It was nuts about me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, low-hanging fruit, Caesar, low-hanging fruit. <laughs> Sorry, busy. 
dude. If she was in the hood, she'd come back to just the fucking frame, dude. There'd be nothing else. Why, Dick? Too busy for me? Oh, Dot. How are you? On top uh, of bricks. Well, I'm kind of tired. Mr. Barber gave me a rush job. Well, that can wait. No, it's very important. But I've got something even more important. Honestly, Dot, I can't. It's your lunch hour, isn't it? But I promised Mr. Barber. Oh, he can spare you for an hour. No. Hello, Mr. No. Barber. Hello, Miss Parker. Do you mind if I take Dick away for an hour? Why, no, uh, not at all. Those plans can wait, can't they? Yes, certainly. But Mr. Barber... That's you... all right, my boy. That's all He's right. He's like, no, Thank man. He's like, listen, boss. This chick too thirsty, bro. Dude, he's cock blocking the cock block. <laughs> There's layers of this shit. Oh, he's pissed. He's like, I guess I'll fucking do yeah, it. Yeah, he's salty. But he couldn't tell her no because she's too rich. Her daddy, I guess her daddy owns the place, right? Yeah. I have to realize that. She's the daughter of the owner of the steel mill. Oh my god. This is why I watch these old movies, Katie. For shots like this. Oh no. Oh, but this is my treat. You can't sign here. You're not a member. Oh, wow. There's yours, Paul. Thank you. You see, husband or gigolo, dude. It's in box too expensive, huh? They're just using chunks of logs, pretty much. They always work. Gee, that's a oh. key trick. You gotta show me how to do that. Oh, a sick. That was fucking sick, dude. Dick, know what day it is today? Yeah, Wednesday, December 20th. It was exactly four weeks ago today I met you. That's right, four, four weeks. weeks. Huh? What is it in the 30s? Just thought of something. Just think. Four weeks. And it seems as if I'd known you ages. That's just the way it seems to me, too. But I have known you a long time. I've seen many games you've played. Why, when you beat Yale, I even cut your picture out of the paper and put it over my dresser. Oh, oh my man. Am I? The fucking fan girl, dude. There. Whoa. Oh no, dude! Don't don't do it. Gee, that was that was published about five years ago. I guess you believe me now. December twentieth. A little bit creepy. Five more days till Christmas. I better get busy. I suppose you did your Christmas shopping early. I've only got one more thing to get. Mm-hmm. Been expecting to get it for four weeks. You yeah, better not put it off any longer. That did. That depends on you. On me. Mm-hmm. Well, if there's anything I can do. No, oh, my God! What is it? See him wringing his hands? A proposal. A what? May I have it? You mean, you want me? I want you. Oh, you're only kidding. All right. Just propose to me and see whether I am or not. Oh, that's kind of sad. God, I can't do anything like that. You mean? I'm nothing but a... You mean, you won't propose to me? Oh, my God. I would if though. I could, but... Very well. I'll propose to you, Dick. Will you marry me? No doubt I can. <gasps> I haven't anything to offer a girl like you. You're all I want. I know what you're thinking. But don't let that stand in your way. <laughs> don't you love me enough to forget it? Oh, I wish I could forget. <gasps> oh, if you really love me. You'll try. Won't you please try? Come on, Dick. Say yes. No. No. Damn. Oh, staying solid. Holding down back, Katie. No erasers, bro. <laughs> Dick, do you mean that? Yes. Oh. Oh, oh no, the next up. Oh gee, I'm so happy. <laughs> oh no. You got Put him, man. No, I can't do that. Oh, she already oh, had look, someday you'll the ring ready. Oh. Go on, Dicky. Please. Oh, he's Dicky now. Oh my. Oh, he just sold his soul to the devil, dude. 
It's that hat, bro. It's too strong. I might have two. No. Oh, oh my god. Mrs. Barham, Look at that Mrs. fucking tree, dude. That's a fire hazard for sure. Oh, definitely back in the day, dude. Spare me your sarcasm, Martha. That completes the list, doesn't it? Yes, ma'am. Oh Mother, god, you've guys. forgotten all about Aunt Julia. Thanks for reminding me, Dorothy. Oh now, my let's god. See. talk about what nightmare mother-in-laws. In a boarding house. A long reach. Money's useful in a boarding house, Mother. If I send Julia money, she'll only spend it. Send Aunt Julia a nice warm shawl, Miss Prague. That will be all? Yes, Prague. Damn! Christmas Easy gets more appalling every year. Prague's so stupid. I'm sure she's omitted someone. She has. Got it. Let's go, girl. Now. Damn. What do you want for Christmas? Oh, I selected my Christmas present. Oh, you have, have you? Well, what is it? Not what. Who? Stop your foolishness, Dorothy. What do you want for Christmas? A husband. <laughs> I'm afraid I have no sense of humor. Wait a minute. So it's happened, has it? Mm-hmm. Give her a <laughs> <four> weeks. <laughs> what are you Deadly serious, about? Mother, I'm going to marry Dick Brunton. Dick Brunton? <laughs> The working man? Yes. But he's a The poor? Oh. <laughs> oh, she's like, uh, fuck, uh, dude. Are you going to do nothing and your daughter's gone crazy? Oh, it's all your fault. Inviting him here to dinner. I... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not, I can hardly believe it. I never thought he'd propose to you. He didn't. I proposed to him. Well, I'll be. Oh, Dad, it's all it's right with you, isn't you. it? Can't I have him? But just think that he couldn't keep you in shoes. You're accustomed to all this. You'll never be able to give it up. Well, I don't intend to. You'll have to. He only earns forty-five dollars a week. But you're going to raise his salary. What, Dad? What? <laughs> I want him more than anything in the world. Won't you please let me have him? Now you know that I'd do anything to make you happy. Gee, you're a peach, Dad. He's a good man. And you'll promote him, won't you? I'll have to if you're going to marry him. And don't forget, I can't get along on a cent less than 50000 a year. 50000 Mm-hmm. Why, wow. I couldn't possibly pay him that. It would disrupt my whole organization. Oh, Dad. Now, don't worry. I'll give him a little raise in salary. And I'll make up the difference out of my own pocket. Oh, thanks, Aww, Dad. Dad. Look here, Doc. Now, you be careful. A man has to be made of strong stuff not to let money spoil him. Don't let it spoil Dick. Money spoil Dick? Oh, don't be silly. It could never spoil Dick. Well, I'll have to be going. Now, where are you going? I promised Dick I'd go right over and tell him what you said. Bye. I'm in an awful hurry. <laughs> Dude, revenge, that's like a million dollars. That's either... <laughs> Moving too strong, dude. Oh, this is his dad. I love this guy. Oh, that's you, Huey? I guess so. Did Dick come home with you? <laughs> Two's company, three's a crowd. What are you talking about? Won't be long now. Coming events cast their shadows behind. Oh, go on up and get ready for dinner. I guess if you knew what I know, you'd believe in Santa Claus. Three bench, I'm like a fucking third grader, dude. Hey, Ma, we're not poor anymore. Mother, I've got a surprise for you. A surprise? What is it? I'm going to be married. Dick. Oh, that's wonderful. Dude, that acting is godlike. like I actually believe that, dude. Who is she? You just wait. She'll be here in a minute and you'll see her. I just knew oh, something like oh, this no. was going to happen. Oh, I know you're going to love her, Mother. Oh, I'll fix up the spare that bedroom. Mom cooks spare this bitch, dude. Yes, you can have it until you move into a home of your own. Oh, Dick, this is lovely. Imagine getting a dog <laughs> like, oh, for Mom. a Christmas present. I wonder who that is. Must be Santa Claus. 
Yeah, it seems weird, Panthers, yeah. Just like, oh. It's her. A Christmas present for you, Mother. Mother, this is Dorothy. Dorothy Parker. Aww. So sweet. You dear, dear child. Isn't she sweet? She certainly <laughs> is. <laughs> Well, I don't know what I've done to deserve the two best women in the world. Who told him he deserves us? <laughs> Got him. Damn. Oh, oh, to be white and rich in the 30s. Yeah. You hug like a bear. <laughs> Will you excuse me a moment, please? Can you imagine if fucking Dot was like, I hope so. Oh, Dick, I'm terribly happy. Everything's <laughs> all right. And you don't know how glad I am, kitten. Kitten? Yeah, that's my pet name for you. Well, isn't that funny? You know, Dad used to call me that when I was a kid. <laughs> Let's sit down. That's just sweet, Bane. I like her. They're good actors. Oh, no, He's going to capture a deadly blow, big, <laughs> big nasty. Dear, I want you to have this. I wore it when I was young, and my mother before me. It's supposed to bring good fortune to the bride. Oh. Why, what a lovely old ring. I wear it all the time. Mrs. Burton, I can't tell you how much <laughs> I appreciate this. I hope it brings you all the happiness in the world. I don't want to rush, Mother, but we've got a million things to do. No, oh, that's all right. I understand. She's never going to wear that ring. She's going to pawn it, dude. Dick's a wonderful boy. But all men are peculiar. You just handle him right, and you'll be very happy. Oh, I understand. Yo, you ain't ready, girl. To you, it's just a fucking play thing, dude. I'll be home early, mother. Good night, Mrs. Bretton. Is he gonna lose it, Mrs. Brian? I hope not, dude. She needs a redemption arc fast, guys. I believe. She's a spoiled kid. We saw the, we saw the foreshadowing, right, when Mom was talking to him earlier. Right? It's not her fault. She gotta straighten up. I was like, well, at least that kid's out of my hair. <laughs> I, love that I don't give it much. It's last year's model. You guys, I hate her. I love it. He dressed the way around the house, though? I'm in my fucking underpants right now. Look at this dude. That's his, that's his hating uniform, dude. He keeps it on 24-7. <laughs> Look that at the pose, dude. dude. The man was put on this earth to do one thing and one thing only. Hate. He'd be a guy like a Mario Kart dude. What do you think? I think he's a sap. If he marries a dame like her, you'd never catch me doing that. Doggone if I'd slave for a million bucks a week just to have some canary spend it on brassy ears. Oh, man. She's a nice girl. <laughs> what one man's meat is another guy's poison. I've heard of marriages made in heaven, but not in the Parker Steel plant. Well, they're so devoted. I think it'll work out all right. Don't kid yourself. I claim all Damn. the water don't mix. East is west and west <laughs> is east when Greek meets Greek. This guy's got fucking bars, dude. Damn, son. The bars Dropping the knowledge. Here we go. Dorothy Helen and Richard Brunton. At three o'clock? Dude, that's hella early. Wedding room. What are these day weddings, dude? So I'm saying, frisky bars for days. He's throwing shade, dude. And that was the last time he was happy. You were the loveliest bride. Well, when you came down that aisle, it just took my breath away. <laughs> Will you forgive me for kidnapping your son? Of course. I know he's in good hands. Dick, you have the most wonderful girl in the world. See that you take good care of her. I will, Mother. And don't you go shutting yourself in your room every night like you did with me. You know, Dick was always terribly what? ambitious. <laughs> yes, I know. Oh, I won't let him work too hard. Oh, well, I, 
Guess I'd better run much. along. You're in a hurry to get down to the boat. And I'll say good goodbye. Aw, Mom. It's the last time you'll ever see him alive. <laughs> I watch I watch Unsolved Mysteries, guys. I know how this ends up. Oh, oh my god. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> whoa. 1931. Holy shit. <laughs> He's like, oh, he's gonna bankrupt us. Come on, mother. Right, you gotta dear. go, mom. Goodbye, Dick. You're not welcome here. God bless you both. Not in those shoes. Bye, mother. Mad creepy, dude. They tossing her out, dude. Say it, Dick. All right. Bye, bitch. Well, you have it? Yes, sir. Well, I hope you're a good sailor because my yacht isn't quite as large as the Leviathan. Now have a good oh, time. No. Lots revenge. of work for you when you come back. Oh, I'll be ready. <laughs> One thing more, Dick. You know, girls are peculiar, and you have to handle them very carefully. Well, Dorothy and I, I think we understand each other, Mr. Parker. Yes, I know. What? Are you but kidding me? when little things crop up, as they will in the best of families, well, you give in a bit, and the woman will give in a whole lot. <laughs> I see. Uh, just uh, some spending money for you. <laughs> Remy. Yeah, for sure, Remy. That was, uh, well, that was pretty wild. Take her somewhere nice. Well, haven't you made some mistake? That's all right. I want you both to remember your honeymoon as long as you live. Well, but, I, but I can't Now take... you turn down my check once for saving some lives. I want this one to remind you that I'm entrusting you with the most precious life in the world. Come on, Dick. Take oh, the money, Dick. Thank you, Mr. Parker. Well, you know he's thinking, Katie. He's thinking, I don't even know how to spend this kind of money. That's what I would think. Like, oh, I bet he knows how to spend it. What the hell? Oh, my God. This is the yacht? The Carnival Cruise. Are they by themselves on this thing or what? This is Q's uh, the backstory, dude. Oh, this man has silk pajamas? Ooh. Come in. You got him now, dude. That's what that fucking check is. Hello, Dick. Isn't it funny? That door connects both our rooms. Oh, please come in. So I can really believe it. Still seems like a dream. You guys are fucking married. Oh, you're nothing You guys are, kid. this is your honeymoon. You're, you're nothing but a kitten. It's been a strenuous day, getting married and running off to the yacht. So I think I'll retire. What? Good night. What? Husband. What? What? 1931. What's up, you? What's up, you? See you in the morning. What? Yo, kick, her, kick her door down, dude. What? Oh, my oh, God. Oh, no. Kept Husbands, dude. It's the name of the movie. One. He's salty as fuck, Brian. Nah, he's like, nah, fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck that. Tear that door down, dog. Kitten, you sleep? Mm -hmm. Yo, get in there, dude. Oh, my God. Yo, Pandra's on the honeymoon? No, man. Uh oh! Oh, there you go. Get in there, dog. Oh, my God. Get in there. Paris. Paris. Yo, oh my God. Oh, c'est charmant. C'est charmant, madame. You look marvelous in this. Uh, this, madame Bruton, I have shown to no one else, for no one else could wear it as you can. Is that the kind of a woman you think I am? Oh, not that you are, <laughs> but that you should look on occasion. Weebs. This guy's French accent is terrible. <laughs> What's that, Prince? But I didn't order a coat. But I knew you will after you saw this. Oh, it's magnificent. It was smuggled out of Russia a few skins at a time. Don't tempt me, Prince. We're almost broke. But when your husband sees you in this... Ooh, ha, ha, ha. He what? will not think of the expense. Oh, ha, ha, ha. I'll try it on, but I won't take it. 
Got her. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it is. It is. It's just well, my new fix up. Uh, what's fix. the bad news, Prince? Oh, only 200,000 francs. Good heavens, I can't afford that. Afford? $10,000 for a coat like this, madame. Really, you frighten me when you say it in francs. But put that way, it does seem sort of... Uh... Only 10K? Easy game. Oh, no, she got hustled. So I'm saying it's either easy game. Oh, no. Uh -uh. <laughs> How long have I been gone? Babe, I miss my poor family. Being rich is great and all, but... Yeah, yeah, this is too nice for me, dude. I gotta get the fuck out of here. There you are. Merci bien, madame. Merci beaucoup. Au revoir, madame. Au revoir. Oh, wow. You didn't know that he was inheriting rich people problems, dude. Au revoir, madame. Au revoir, monsieur. Do you really like it? I think it's perfectly stunning. I do. Oh, this is yeah, It's, it's leopard. It's Where real leopard. Why? Why, he's downstairs. I think he'll be up in a moment. Entree? Real legal leopard. Mm -hmm. Oh! Oh, my pansy is dying! Oh! Oh, my baby! What's happened to my beautiful baby? Oh, my darling baby! Oh! Listen, darling, I can explain oh, everything. Oh! I thought at least you could take care of my dog to earn your I living. Know, but Pat, oh, don't but... talk to me! You're not fit for anything! You're not a man! You're just what everybody calls you! Oh, now, Pat, You're please a... let me explain. Get out of my sight, you! Damn! Damn. You worm! You know what he's gonna say. All right, Pat. Oh, aren't you a little rough on him, Lucille? No. What do you think I give him his allowance for? Look at my darling. Just look at her. Can't the poor sap do really anything what? to earn his money? Just look at my darling. Just look at her. Oh, you don't understand what I've been through. Just wait until I get him alone. I'm awfully sorry this had to happen, Dick. Uh, I'll see you again later. Uh, good night. Get mother's little baby girl. Get hurted by the nasty, mean old man. Just wait till your mother gets hold of that uh, You better fucking sock an old lady? Come on, dude. Let her live. That's what I'm saying, mutant. Relax, dude. She's old. This is, what ha this is what happens when you have money, dude. Just think you can do whatever you want. But, Dick, how'd you like the coat? Oh, don't try and change the subject. Disgusting, wasn't it? I'm through with her. That's all right. You know what I mean. Kept husband there. If you apply that to yourself... It's an insult to me. Well, that's what I am, until we get home. You're making me angry. You're making me angry. <laughs> I like that, dude. That's communication, Casey. You didn't have to have a good marriage. You gotta communicate. You're making me angry, man. Oh, okay. Well, shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make you angry, babe. My oh, bad. Please don't be angry with me, Doc. Well, if you promise not to say things like that anymore... Well, I've got to get back to work. But look, we haven't been to Deauville, Nice, Monte Carlo, or Beirut's. But that's the best part of our honeymoon. Your old work can keep. Now how about keeping my self-respect? Oh, bro, why can't we stay over here longer? You have all this power why, now, bro. a few more months won't do any harm. Instead of thinking about wow. fucking going and hammering nails, start thinking about how you can apply your new, you know, your newfound wealth to bigger and better things, man. Look at his eyes. He's like, what you wow. About? Well, it's cold. 200,000 francs, that's $10,000. Well, it's worth it. Well, where's the money coming from? Oh, don't be so dense. All you have to do is cable father. Well, I've cabled him three times already. And he hasn't turned us down once. Well, I'm not going to keep on hitting him for more. Not if I ask you? Oh, please don't ask me. You know I've got to get back to work. I've got to start earning a living. But there's no rush. Now, your father's been wonderful, but I'm not going to impose on him any longer. Big ass hands. But we've got to go back. <gasps> oh, Doc. <gasps> What's the matter? You know very well your old work can wait. But it isn't right. We've got to go back. First, we're going to Deauville, Nice, Monte Carlo, and Biritz. No, we're not going to Deauville, Nice, Monte Carlo, and Biritz. We're going home. Oh, man. 
The honeymoon's already over, Katie? They're still on the honeymoon, and the honeymoon's over. Dude, they did Paris, they did a yacht, it's good. They're done. That's what I'm just saying, take, just, just wrap it up, That's dog. enough of a honeymoon. They're in Monte oh, Carlo, no. dude. That's what I'm saying, Pander. They're in Monte Carlo. Dick and Dot. Kill the fatted calf, probably like coming home, love. What? <laughs> Thank you for the bits, uh, Britsky. That's very generous of you, dude. That's super generous of you, man. Hopefully you've been well. All right, we finally home, or are we some other kind of place around the world now? <laughs> Is this a simp? He's a kept husband, dude. A man bought body and soul by his wife. That's the tagline for this film. A man bought body and soul by his wife. Yeah, it's alright, I guess. I've seen more grander. -der. Make sure to check well, the fucking bed sheets. Well, how do you sheets. like it? Well, it's fine, but... But what's sweet? Well, it's alright for people who like this sort of thing, but we won't stay here long. Oh, well, what do you mean? Tomorrow you and I will go looking for a little apartment. Say, that's right. I'd forgotten all about that. We do need a little place in town. Say, what are you driving at? Don't you know where we are? We're home. Home? Our home? Yes. I've been saving it for a surprise. Friday! Friday. What? Oh, my God. Are you be living here now? Dog got no choice. He had no say in any of this. He's like, what? Hey, guys. What's good? To the homecoming. Jolly times and happy moments. Yay! That guy's salty. He wanted her. Can't hide from me. They're both too happy for words, Huey. Isn't it wonderful to think they've been in every spot in Europe? England, France, guy's like, Happiness doesn't Germany, exist. Italy, Switzerland, everywhere. Red pill is fucked, dude. Yeah. Well, I don't want to discourage you, but a Rolling Stone gathers no moss. Dick has a wonderful <laughs> wife. I'm sorry. He's fucking too deep, Katie. Didn't they ask you over to the house? This is their first night in their new home, and they want to be alone and quiet. Oh, my God. Oh. Yeah, I'm telling you, Katie, can't invite the they, family over. They're too poor. Oh, my God. They, they want to be alone with their smug. Well, Mr. Parker, I'm ready to go back on the job. That's great. I'm glad to hear it. We've got a fine office for your son, and we're going to keep you mighty busy. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Where? Well, we've got to be going. No. So you're educated in red form. All right, this is I'm what I would... Say good night, cut the record player off, and all right, all right, everyone, alone. get the fuck out. Oh, by the way, where is Dot? I want to say good night to her. Well, I don't know. Oh, well, never mind. I'll right. see her again later. All right. <laughs> Come to well, He's macking on that fucking guy with the mustache, dude. Well, Dick, we'll have to go to. Oh, my God! How did the boyfriend behave? Oh. Did he sleep in his overalls? Well, do you care what he slept in? Can't you do anything besides knock people? Hmm. Now, listen, Dodd, you think you're kidding me, but you're only kidding yourself. About Dick? Oh, you're crazy. Oh, this marriage can't last. I've never seen one that could, and you know it's true. But wow. Dick and I are different. I know. But he just doesn't belong with this crowd. Don't worry about him. He will before I get through with him. Ah, uh, you're going to have a tough time making a tea hound out of that, uh, what do you call him? Uh, oh, yes, steel boss. Well, what's the matter? If you don't stop rising dick... Oh, I'm sorry. Won't you forgive me? Yes, if it won't happen again. It won't. I promise. Cross my heart, right? And listen, just to prove that we're still good friends, how about a little kiss? Oh no! Oh, no, oh. my God! Oh my God! Uh oh! Uh oh! <laughs> uh oh! Aren't you forgetting your friends? They're all going home. Well, if that's the case, I guess I better go along. Good night, Don. You're in GTFO. Night, Look at the handshake, dude. Good night, Dick. 
Oh, no hands. Oh my god. Yo, fucking Texas Showdown 2019, bro. Crazy G. It's a misunderstanding, Dick. Good night. Doc, just get out of there, dude. Just get out of there. Come again, will you? No panders. They gotta communicate, panders. It's a marriage. Communicate with that backhand. All right, Doc, come on, come clean. Tell your boy what's up. Well, what have you got to say for yourself? Wasn't it a swell party? You know what I mean. No. What? You're necking with Bates. Oh, Dick, don't be silly. I've known Charlie all my life. That doesn't make any difference. That makes it worse, actually. You don't actually. mean to tell me you're jealous. <laughs> you're just better. You're right, Brian. I don't care very much for Mr. Bates. Now, look, Charlie's all right. Now, don't go worrying about that. Listen, Doc. Don't ever let it happen again. Well, of course I won't if you feel that way about it. There, see, it's Come all on, good, now. bro. Let's go and inspect the house, huh? No, wait a minute. We can't stay here. Mm. Why not? It's not taking right. it serious, too dude. Much. It's dismissive. It. Decide I could never support this place on my salary. Is that all that's bothering you? Yes. And that's why we're going into a smaller place. Oh, Dick. Oh, I'll be so disappointed. Why, I planned everything. I know, dear, but... Now, look, Dick. What would everybody say if we left this house? Oh, Dick. You'd do this for your little kittens, won't you? Oh, my God. Got him with the fucking baby doll eyes, dude. What's up, Orbital? Yeah, necking, dude. That's necking 30s necking. That's a very tiny little smooch. He's necking with his mom more than she was necking with the other guy. Yeah, actually. <laughs> she didn't get jealous of the mom. Well, after he got like, dude, this revenge. is what it is. It's to have money, dude. You just, you know, you just neck with everyone. We thought you were cool, bro. Six months later. Boy probably hasn't been home in six months. Hello, Huey. How's everything at the factory? Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereafter. <laughs> oh, I love mean? this guy, dude. That son of yours is getting pretty high hat. Well, a friend in need is a friend indeed. Why? What has Dick done? It ain't what he's done, it's what he ain't done. He won't even get me that job as boss puddler. Why, I do more work around there now than he does. He don't do nothing. He's the joke of the joint. Oh, now, Huey, I'm sure... Well, he that... won't tie hat this baby any longer. I'm through with him. We are known by the company we do not keep. Oh, my God. This guy's a fucking spirit animal, dude. Can you this guy on Twitter? <laughs> I wish I had Twitter back then, dude. Dude, that guy is red-pilled as fuck. <laughs> Third vice president? Good morning, Miss Bell. Good morning. Any calls? Yes, Mr. Parker's been trying to get you all morning. Said he'd call after lunch. And Mrs. Brenton called. Said she'd call back. Oh, fine. Look at him slouching, bro. Sit up straight. This man is slacker now. He's back to his fucking books, though. He still has his ambitions. He's learning bridge, though? Oh, no. Oh, never mind. <laughs> oh, no. I thought no. he was actually studying. Yeah, so they're communicating. She's just going to sit there and read her book. He's going to be playing bridge. None of them are working, just pulling a paycheck. Dude. Hello? Oh, yes. Just a moment, please. Mrs. Breton on the wire, Mr. Breton. It's tough, Panders. Always the VOD, Panders. You need some food, man. Food's good. It's important. Hello, kitten. I just wanted to remind you, dear, I'll meet you at the recital at 2.30. And don't forget we're due at the Ritz at 5. Oh, yes, and Rose Clayton's giving us that big dinner party at the club tonight. All Can right. I stay home and fucking watch Third Strike? Goodbye, sweetheart. He's like, God damn it, man. He's having a whole day planned for me. I'm saying the socialite life, dude. He's the working all day. Recital at 2.30. The Ritz at 5. Oh, never mind about that. Well, Dick, well, 
I've got big <laughs> news for you. That's all. Looking for you all morning. Well, it's cards under the I'm book. I'm sorry, I didn't feel very well. Oh, that's all right. You still think uh, Barber's idea about that bridge is practical? I know it is. Uh, you know it's against all theories of engineering. Yes, but this bridge won't be built on theories. It'll be built on brains and imagination and concrete and steel. That sounds like a terrible well, idea. <laughs> now, when Barber planned to put those steel girders... Yeah, that's on, all right. That's far enough. I just want to know if you are still sold on the idea. More than ever. Fine, that's just the way I feel. Now, what I want to tell you is this. I've made up my mind to take the biggest gamble of my life. I am going to win this contract with that bridge. You'll never make it. You know what you're up against, don't you? A bunch of old fogies who can't see anything new or original. Yeah, the thing I need most is a man who knows this idea from every angle. A man who will set them afire with his own enthusiasm. A man who gets whatever he goes after, no matter how tough the opposition. Let's go, dude. You mean Barber? No, he's an inventor. I want a salesman. The man I've picked out to put this thing over is you. Me? Yes, if you can sell a hard-boiled egg like me, you can certainly sell those St. Louis boys. You bet I can. <laughs> of course you can. All you need to do is put that old fighting football spirit into it and you can't fail. Don't you worry, I won't fail. Why, son, it's the chance of a lifetime. I know it is. I'll catch the next train. Oh, I'll take an easy time enough for that tonight. What we'll do, we'll spend this afternoon going over this thing from A to Z so there won't be any chance of a slip-up. Oh, boy. Just wait till I tell Dot. Won't she be proud to know that you gave me this big job? How long will I be away? About two weeks. Great, I'll take her with me. Fine. Now, come on. We'll go over to the office and go through this thing first. Oh, no, Katie. No. She's a soul sucker, dude. That's fine, Mary. The succubus. By the way, did Mr. Brunton call and say be detained? No. No, madam. Pinder says that he's taking her so she doesn't neck anyone else over the next two weeks. That could be Pinder. Oh, Dot, I've got yeah, the grand Just trust Good heavens, where have you been? Oh my gosh, I forgot to call you. Yes, you didn't come to the recital. You didn't show up at the Ritz. And here it is nearly 8 o'clock and you know very well with you at that party. Oh, but wait. Gee, your father's a grand old scout. He's given me the biggest job in the history of the company. You can tell me all about it later. No, I can't. We're leaving for St. Louis tonight. What? Sure, you and I. Katie. Have you been out of your head? Communication. Of course I have. Now come on and get your things packed. Ah, uh, no. Nah, She's like, wait a minute. Now he's telling me what to do? No, no, no. That's not what I paid for. The Clayton's are giving a dinner in our honor at the club tonight. Oh, Dickens with a dinner. We're shoving off for St. Louis. Oh, my. What's up, J-Bomb? Oh, my. Oh, he's whistling? Oh, he knows. He knows, dude. <laughs> oh, no, he's happy as can be. Oh, oh no. Oh, here here it comes. <laughs> oh, the whistling. He's been six months. He knows the tracks. Oh, kitten. What's the matter? Matter? Well, of all the crazy stunts going to St. Louis, I'll give Father a piece of my mind. Oh, but kidding, it's the chance of a lifetime. It'll be a great trip for you and a nice change for two weeks. Two weeks? At the top of the season? What a chance. Oh, it'll be like a second honeymoon. Well, I've decided you not to go. That's all there is to it. Oh, man. Hey, what are you doing? I'll tell Dad a thing. No, Remy. Don't Remy tell me all the secrets. The tech. Oh, give me that. Oh, no. I'm going to St. Louis and you're going with me. With a book full of engagements? I guess not. Well, then it looks as if I'll have to go alone. Oh. And you'd leave me all alone for two weeks? I can't help it. Business is business. And you think more of business than you do about me? Now you know it isn't that Oh, at all. my God. Oh, don't let's quarrel about it. She I don't want to quarrel you. either, dear. You do love your little kittens, don't you? And you won't go away and leave your little kittens all alone for two weeks, will you? Oh, I do love you, Dot. <laughs> but... But, but I'm fitting to, to go. go to St. Louis. Well, go if you want to. Oh, now be reasonable. Be reasonable, huh? Go to St. Louis. Don't let me keep you. I'll find someone who'll be glad to take me out. Oh, my God! No. Oh. Oh, my God. Said, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, dude. 
The mustache guy was right, as always. They can't communicate, dude. He's like, dude, I want to do more than just be rich. I'm trying to do big things, babe. I got big things popping, girl. Oh, my. They're like little kids, dude. Aren't you gonna say goodbye, Dad? <laughs> Leave this up, Faust. Popping big things, dude. Got big things popping. Aww. That's cute. Goodbye. Penny says here, go to the dinner tonight and just leave in the morning, huh? You're part of the rich now. You can be late. Isn't yeah, you make your own time. <sighs> They're both fucking up, dude. They gotta communicate. What happened to you're making me angry? She's salty, dude. Oh, he stopped off to see mom first. Oh, oh no, he's never coming back. Don't mean to tell me you left her cry. You got a shame. Can't you see it wasn't my fault? Oh, wasn't it? She made her plans and you rushed in without warning and upset them. But mine were more important. Oh, yes, to you. But her plans might have been just as important to her. Mom with the wisdom, dude. I never thought of that. Now you go on right home and smooth it over. But I can't. I haven't time. You've got to find time. You can't leave her like this. Well, there's no telling what might happen. A high-spirited girl like her. What could I do? Mm -hmm. Take her in your arms. High-spirited. Ask her to forgive you. Quote, unquote, high spirited. Give up the trip? You won't have to give up anything. But be fair to her. Don't ask her to give up anything either. But what if she insists? Just take her in your arms the right way, and she won't insist. I'll bet you'll find her all packed up and waiting for you to ask her. Gee, I hope you're right, Mom. Oh, you look lovely. Oh, like I do. no. She's going out. Saving it for a special occasion. They dressed that in the fucking 30s? Oh, my God. Hello? It's Mr. Basement. Oh, let me talk to him. Hello, Charlie. Oh, no. I'll phone Dorothy it's right away, Mom. Dick Dastardly. I love this guy, dude. With that mustache, you just know. Carlton, 8831. Now, you be nice to her. The line is busy. Well, when am I going to see you? Oh, you have a party no. Tonight. Oh, my God, guys. What's the matter? Line's busy. I know what I'll do. I'll run home and catch her before she leaves. Oh, no! No. Oh. Oh, Dick. He has to learn the hard way. Yo, rest in peace. Can I get an F in the chat for Is Dick, Mrs. please? Brunton upstairs? No, sir. She just left. Thank you, Brian. I think it's revenge. Hello? Give me Lakewood, 6522, please. 6522? Hello. Please. Please. <laughs> Thank you, Remy. Hello? Is this the Lakeview Country Club? Well, Mrs. Brunton will be there shortly with the Clayton party. I wonder if you'd have her call her home. Yes, Mr. Brunton, as soon as she comes in. Thank you. How's he going to know who she is? Uh, hello, are any ladies, uh, Mrs. Brunton? Say when. All right. When? See that look he gave her? He's like, uh, oh. need a little more than that. Thank you. Thank you for revenge. F for D, dude. The hell was that? Was that a spritzer? Yeah, he's got like seltzer water in there, I think. That's how they did it back in the day, I think. Give us a little toast, Dot. Know any new ones? No, I don't. Pardon me a moment. Oh shit, oh, it's locking her in. God. Uh, I didn't want any intruders coming in. Oh, oh dick dastardly. Stuff, eh? Surely, why not? Well, here's to you. Here's to both of us. Let it go. 
Oh my god. Speaking of F, made a pre order on the first four figurine. PFC PF Majora's I'll Mask. Oh, sick. More. Fine. She was like, I was drunk. I, I couldn't help it. I didn't mean it. Uh, give me Lakewood. 6522. Two. I don't love him. Yes. Dick. I don't love him. Please. Hello? Is this the Lake Please Christmas? forgive me. Well, this is Mr. Brunton speaking. Mrs. Brunton is there with a the Clayton party. I wonder if you'd call her to the phone. I'm sorry, sir. The Clayton party has been called off. Called off? Oh, for real? Well, is Mrs. Brunton there? No, sir. Uh, she just left with Mr. Bates. Oh, my oh. God. Mr. Bates, dude. Mr. Bates. I got a bad feeling that Dick is gonna be having to having to keep him. Get your gun, Dick. No, don't do it, Dick. That fucking. Oh no, him. he stayed home. Oh no. You know the watch is godlike, though. Set the house on fire, Dick. It's not saying panties. Set it on fire, and when she comes home, trap her in the home. The sound of the gong denoted exactly 2 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and marks the conclusion of our program. Good night, pleasant dreams. That's our new sign off on the stream, guys. <laughs> the time is now 2 a.m. Peace out. Right, 2 o'clock. Oh, the evening is still early. Really, Charlie, I'd better be trotting along. You know, I'm terribly disappointed in you. Yes? Mm -hmm. Well, we'll certainly have to fix that. I thought you had lots more finesse. I suppose your big He-Man taught you all the fine points of the game. Oh, never mind about him. Get my things. I'm bored stiff. I thought sure you'd give me a thrill. Don't worry, darling. You're gonna get your thrill. Oh, oh my God, Charlie! You're a cute little kitten. Kitten. Oh my. Oh no. Get off, oh. you kitten. Why you're a little Hellcat. Ah, oh, the perils of the big city. Isn't any working girl safe? Not with this fiend in human form. Unhand me, Jack Dalton. Think of my reputation, please. What? What? Just think of mine. Why, if I let you go to be fatal to my reputation? <sighs> wait, wait. If you come one step nearer, I'll plunge this dagger in my heart. All right, clown if you want to, but don't forget. The villain still pursues her. Ha-ha. <gasps> No, honestly. They're longtime friends, dude. Me. Your technique is rotten. Yes? Well, you ain't seen nothing yet. Oh. Wait, what am I supposed to do now? Scream, I know. How loud can you scream? <laughs> Not loud enough. Oh, my God, dude. Will the Marines never come? <laughs> the flirtation, oh, question oh, mark? <laughs> it's the United States Cavalry, boys. We are shit! Get him! <laughs> Fuck him up. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but seriously though. <laughs> uh, but seriously, it's, uh, it's time to rape you. <laughs> there you are, Doc. You win. Yeah, there well, you go. Stay are. a while. Don't rush off. Yeah, so there's this I long time friend. He's thirsty as fuck. I've got to be up first thing in the morning. Yes? Dude, he had super rapey vibes. I'm going to the first train for St. Louis. I'll get you a wraps for you. Aw, she's gonna go to St. Louis, try to meet her husband. No. Nope. She done effed up. Nah, see, look at that. That's kinda nice acting there. She kinda realized how close she got there. She's like, fuck. I almost banged this fucking simp. Uh oh. Here she comes, dude. Come on, dog. It's still what, like three in the morning? It's too early if she had fucked around. Charlie, oh no, dude. Oh man. Yo, J Bomb, look board, dude. Facts. Why, Dick? I thought you got to St. Louis. <laughs> <laughs> She's still drunk. 
And then she did bang him, figured that's what she meant, talking shit about his technique and stuff. No, they're, they're playing cards, Brian. Where have you been? You know, Rose and Bob Clayton. Yeah? At the party, remember? Must have been some party. Oh, it was. Oh, it was an awful brawl. Lots to drink? Barrels. Why? Because those parties usually don't break up until they've cleaned out the last bottle of booze. And it's pretty late. Yes, I know, but you see, um... Oh, Rose passed out. Uh, and Bob asked me to take care of her. Oh, is that oh, true? Oh, no. Just the a bad lies. Answer. Oh, she's all right now. Mm, that's good. Was that the Alfa Romero? Uh, all Alfa Romeo? We're watching a film called Kept Husbands. We're at the climax, I think. Oh, Dick. After this, we're watching another film called A Farewell to Arms, Ernest Hemingway. Dick, let me explain. You don't have to. You were with Bates, and I can guess the rest. But, Dick, I want to tell you the truth. Don't bother. Don't you love me anymore? Why don't you ask yourself the same question? But you know I do. I don't know anything of the kind. Why, I just told you. Yes, you've told me a lot of things, but I don't believe you. Oh, oh Dick. my God, the trust. Uh, expect me Maybe to believe a liar and a cheat? You dare say that to me? Well, that's what you are. You didn't give me a chance to tell you. You've had your chance. You've told me enough. I can account for everything. Oh, I don't doubt that. All your friends weren't drunk and put in jail. Oh, I know all about you and Charlie Bates. That's just it. You don't know a thing about it. Well, I can guess. I'm well acquainted with the rotten habits of that crowd you trot around with. No, well, that's what okay. KB said, dude. Well, I notice you don't mind trotting around with them. Oh, They're don't I? Fucking well, slingers. I only did it to please you. Hmm. You accept their friendship and hospitality, then you turn around and call them... A rotten bunch of pasty-faced, loose-lipped wasters. <laughs> oh, my God! Oh, my God! This man went in! That sounds fine coming from you. Well, you're in the same class as Llewellyn Post, only you won't admit it. Oh, I'll admit oh, it. Oh, tell her I, husband. I really you feel. that way? That's just what you are. That's just what I was. Was? Oh, my God. What are you going to do? God. Quit. I'm through with you, and I'm through with all this. Through chiseling your father out of all that money I don't earn just to be your lapdog. Oh, is that so? Well, you can keep all that stuff. There's only one thing I'll keep. That's my self-respect. All right. Oh, my. I won't give you back this engagement ring, because I paid for it myself. But you can give this back to your mother. Here. Oh, my God. Goodbye, Mr. Brunton. My lawyers will call you up in a few days. Don't hold me up for too much alimony. Oh, my God. Damn. Mom. Mom. It was terrible. You don't look so snappy this morning, Mrs. Brunton. I didn't sleep a wink all night. Worried about Dick. Ah, oh, he's all right. He takes after you. Great oaks from little acorns grow. I fucking love this I guy. I know everything's he's all right, but still, I... Say, you ain't gonna raise my room rent just because I'm a boss puddler, are you? No, Huey. You better hurry. I never hurry. I claim haste makes waste. <laughs> This guy makes his own time, dude. I love it. That guy's too godlike. Good morning, Mr. Parker. Good morning. Mrs. Brunton downstairs? No, sir. She hasn't come down yet today. <laughs> My daughter in? Yes, sir, but you can't see her. Why can't I? She's been ill. She hasn't slept. Well, that's just too bad. Oh, my God! You let her live, Dad. She's a child. You pussy. You ruined him. Yeah, she's, he's salty. That's his fucking star employee. Get up, you harlot. Oh, man. She had a hangover like fuck, too. Dude, I'd be so scared if I had my own place like this and my fucking parents just kicked the door in. <laughs> Resignation letter written in pencil, son of a bitch. Kept vice president? Oh my oh, god. Oh my god. Oh dad, I'm terribly sorry. You ought to be. 
Though little good it'll do you. Well, what do you mean? You almost ruined the biggest deal the Parker Steel Corporation ever had. Yes, and you ruined one of the finest boys I ever saw. I did not. I tell you, you did. You rotted his soul. You killed his manhood and ambition. Why, when he walked into the office with this, I thought I was looking at a ghost. Why, what is he? I is don't know daughter, what he's done, and I hate to think what he might do. I tried to pep him up and make him take that St. Louis job, but I'm afraid. Oh, I'm afraid, too. You had an infernal nerve letting your pink tees interfere with that boy's career? What right of you to say that to me when it's all your fault? My fault? Yes. Oh, it's no good arguing with you. You men always stick together. Well, you can get rid of this house. I never want to live in it again. You'd better get rid of some of your foolishness, and you've got to find that boy and find him quick. And what's more, you're going back to him. I won't go back. I won't go back. I won't. I won't. I won't. I won't. I won't. I won't. I won't, I won't go back. There's the follow, Alfa Romeo. Well... He said goodbye. But he said he couldn't go to St. Louis and put that deal over the way he was feeling. Mother, I'd give anything to see him just for a minute. I'm afraid, dear, from what you've told me, it's too late. Too late for what? I go jump off a bridge or what? You gotta build a bridge and jump off of it? Yeah, There, 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 now, dear. I didn't mean that. No, it's just that you said it's too late. Oh, Mother, I've been just rotten. No, you haven't, dear. You've just been human. But why did I say, oh, why didn't I cut my tongue off? Oh, well, you didn't mean it. Dick should have known you didn't mean it. Oh, can you blame him? Who'd stand for being called on? Listen, Dorothy, all husbands are kept. Some of them are kept with money, but most of them with love, and devotion, and sacrifice. Help you right, ma'am. every woman's mission in life, keeping her husband. Mother. <laughs> Mother. <laughs> Mother. Oh, my God! Could yes. Did you find him, Mr. Hanbury? No, didn't he phone in? No. What can't be cured must be endured. <laughs> this guy for president, dude. Look, Henry? <laughs> this guy for oh, fucking president, find dude. Find him anywhere. <laughs> Been in every speakeasy in town. By George. I wonder. Say, I think I know where I can find him. Call my chauffeur and tell him to bring my car at once. Yes, sir. He's like, I hope you don't find him. What a guess. This is a fucking hit of this stogie, dude. I don't mind if I do. Ugh. Connecticut rapper with acidity filler. Exposed. Beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> dude, I'm telling you, I would vote for this guy up and down, bro. That guy's the best character in the film. Well, boy, I'm glad you didn't change your mind. Mr. Parker. I knew you wouldn't fail me, son. All aboard! Don't you worry a minute. I'll put this deal over, but that resignation goes the minute I get it over. We'll talk about that when you get back. Here we go. All right, Joe. Goodbye. Good luck. Let's go, dude. Can't keep a good man down. Man of his word, dude. Man of his word. Oh, my God. What can't be cured must be endured. <laughs> and boy, bring in the table. Yes, sir. Come right up, boss. Uh oh. Oh, no. She's too clean, dude. Oh, Dick. Come on, Dick. What are you doing here? Aren't you glad to see me? I can't say that. I'm no liar. Oh, I don't oh, blame my you. God. I did lie to you, but I'm no cheat. I couldn't let you go away without explaining it to you. Oh, Dick, you must believe me. Oh, I do believe you. <laughs> oh, thanks. Oh, listen, Dick, I'm going to get rid of the house. Oh, that's Just like enough. that. Oh, okay, I believe you. We're not going to be kept by your father's money any longer. Oh, no, never. Dick, we're going to live on your salary. But wait a minute. Oh. Will you do me a favor? What is it? Let's start all over again. You propose to me. Will you be my wife, Doc? Yes. But this time... I'm going to keep you in a different way. Aww, that's cute and everything. Well, the kind of the theme of this film was, you know, like, emasculation in the, you know, the classical sense. That really 
didn't resonate with me, I guess. Uh, I'm too woke. Overall, like, cute as fuck movie, dude. That was definitely a, a good movie. It had uh, a lot of humor in it. Um, but a lot of that could have just been solved if they could just been, you know, as, 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 uh, you know, communicative with her as she was with him. Yeah. She obviously, you know, wanted things a certain way, and if he had just communicated that from the beginning, I think he could have avoided a lot of that trouble. Yeah, I think that I think a theme of the film was, you know, a lot of it was like uh, class relations, but also like gender relations. Where I think that a theme of the film was like, you know, he felt really emasculated. That's right? so why he couldn't communicate with her because he felt really like like uh, oppressed, I guess, in a masculine sense, which I think that uh, in the year 2020, that's still something we're dealing with, of course, culturally, but I think uh, some of it's kind of lost on us as a modern audience, this feeling of, like, he's the man of the relationship, so it's like, he felt like he was getting, like, he should have been the one that should have been bossing her around, like, that was kind of the theme of the film, right? Like, I guess the theme of the film, looking at it from yeah, 2020 those perspective, dynamics. yeah, from 2020, it's like, we want them to be, like, you know, like, equal, but I think that the real conflict of the film was like she was in his role. He wanted to be one bossing her around, and that was kind of that was what was kind of topsy turvy about it, which kind of didn't really land for me completely. Let's I see. think a lot of it really too was just uh, you know the the, ge the gender roles and then you know how they traditionally played out mm -hmm. uh, did really uh, I guess they wouldn't really carry over now, but for the time they were huge, right? Because right, the, 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 there was so much emphasis on like the traditional marriage and traditional families. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool ass film. Alpha says you're a good one. Women, women haven't really changed much in a long time. Well, same with men. So I noticed Alpha Romeo. We watch a lot of these movies from the '30s and uh, beyond, and you'd be surprised at how little has changed. Almost terrified, even. <laughs> I can go to Pandra. Pandra says here, I think the ending was rushed for sure, and they needed more resolution around the incident IMO. Well, yeah, that was kind of its flaw throughout. Was that a lot of moments uh, could have been more fleshed out, but instead of fleshing out a single moment, they kind of, it was kind of an epic film. They had a lot of traveling going on, all kinds of little miniature conflicts. It might have been better served if they had kind of zoned in on, like, one in particular, but instead they kind of moved and moved and moved and moved, and the ending didn't really surprise me in that respect. What's up, kids? Welcome aboard. You're not late at all, man. You just missed the first movie. We're doing a triple feature tonight. Up next is going to be uh, A Farewell to Arms, Ernest Hemingway, uh, uh, adaptation of a novel here. Just finished my uh, first pizza. Got some cheese bread for the next film. Yeah, guys, this was uh, Kept Husbands, 1931. Um, I really enjoyed it. It was super, super cool. Uh, again, the acting of the dude, Katie, oh my god, that the, the husband, it was so bad. <laughs> Like, I liked all the characters yeah, and all really the actors. Bad. Who was that guy, bro? Like, where'd they find that guy? He's tall, short, good looking. But, uh, but my two favorite characters were easily, uh, I, I guess, the guy that was living with his mom. Uh, I think that was his father. Then the mother-in-law that he inherited. Yeah, she was hilarious. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, she was hilarious. Dude, the guy was uh, just dropping jewels the whole time. I guess that was his character, right? He was like a fucking philosopher. <laughs> just, he had all the quotes. Oh, my God, that shit was too godlike. Also, I liked... Uh, uh, the dad was hilarious. Like, he, like, the, what was the relationship between the father and the daughter, dude? That's ridiculous. Like, why is she not even more fucked up than she is? We get, the, we get the impression that she's, like, really spoiled, and we see that side of him as well. But, I mean, she he really tears into her sometimes. Like, her self-esteem got to be all fucked up. Like, God, he could be more supportive of his daughter, for God's sake. Yeah, Brian, dad was the MVP, dude. The thing that she is, she lied about it, and he randomly believed her now. Although, I guess starting over without her father's influence is enough for how little time was left. Exactly, Panthers, yeah. They could have done more with that. It was kind of bizarre how he was like, Oh, I do believe you, darling. But, you know, that's like, that was, that was similar for the whole film. I kind of expected that pace from this film by that point. It's all about, you know, they have a little fight, and then they make up. And they have a little fight, and they make up. But, yeah, I think Katie's point was uh, very well made uh, that uh, they need to communicate more. But I also think that's something the film was trying to go for. I think for the time, it's pretty progressive. So uh, I'm more or less down for that. I think that one of the themes of the film was, you know, communication and the fact that a lot of their conflicts could have been avoided in the first place if they would have just, you know, been more open with each other. Oh, my God. Yo, Al, that was the best quote, dude. What cannot be cured must be endured. I was like, bro. <laughs> he has so many good quotes, dude. Strong oaks make strong seeds. Guys, I'm going to go very short break. You come right back with uh, more uh, Pizza the Movie, the dramatic 1930s triple feature. I'm going to go wash my hands and watch some more of these sweet, sweet black and white films. Hope you guys are enjoying it. Oh, my God. All right, I'm going to go grab something to drink. I'll be back too. Good guys. idea, dude. I'm going to raise the volume here so you guys have some noise while I'm getting my hands washed and stuff. Excuse me. What cannot be cured? 
Am I speaking to it exactly? He's like Confucius, dude. Like, all the damage is reset too, huh? Like I was too godlike. That's, that's crazy. He had bars for days, bro. That's crazy. Kill him. Oh, see you later. Let's see if Vince can uh, keep it tight. Now we know that next is a little bit of lag here. It might make it a little bit challenging. Even more than usual. How about that, dude? What happened to this, this fucking guy? Perfect. Let's see. Uh, what's well, this guy's name? Bader, what right? Oh, yeah, May I it, please? Is that his name Bader or Bateman or something oh, like that? Nothing, really. oh, that guy didn't just come up in, so he's fucking hella fucking yeah, mustache Dick Dastardly cool. mode, bro. That guy has Dick Dastardly mode on exclusively. Ladies he has no other gears. I, get, I like his character because he was kind of interesting as like her childhood friend right. and they kind of flirted and they kind of had like this will they won't they thing going on. But I would like to see more resolution there. Maybe a redemption arc for him where he kind of accepts Dick better and you know, he's more respectful of their marriage. Or what? I thought you said he was a steel boss. Boy, I'll never forget that forward pass as long as I live. Well, I'll be a something or other. You certainly will. Well, I'm glad that's out. You've had me guessing. Oh, fuck. Serve coffee in the drawing yeah. room. Hey, Brunton, this is a surprise. Yeah, what if I There's your patience, guys. I'll get things I packed up here know. in the fridge, the remainder oh, of the pizza. <laughs> that actually scared the fuck out of me. Oh! I think we follow, by the way, Alpha Romeo. Nice to meet you, man. Have you, you changed your mind about that We do pizza movie no, here uh, around every other same. Friday or so. You talk it over with your mother? Among yes, other sir, content every week. with me. You see, Mr. Parker, I didn't do that for money. I did it because, well, anybody do it. You understand, don't you? Yes, I think I do. A thousand dollars is a lot of money, Mr. Button. Yes, but... Oh, don't be silly. Go ahead and take it. Why? Do you want me to? Would you? If I wanted you to? No. Uh-uh. Fourth down, nine yards to go. <laughs> well, 